All right, lastly, we have texture. So the first book that I chose was Help. I really mean it. And I picked this book because the author actually, well, sorry, the illustrator, um, who's also the author, uses cutouts of actual whatever she's representing. She uses, like, I, I would almost describe it as like a magazine collage where you cut out different parts and they actually are whatever you're representing. And then, um, so for example, here she's got an actual photo of some leaves and things. And then she's put the characters on top of them as a cartoon drawing. So it really enhances the setting. It really makes the characters pop. Um, and I, I've noticed in smaller parts of the plot, they blend in a little bit better. But then when major events are occurring, again, they put them somewhere where they're really going to stand out. And they're really drawing attention to themselves. Um, so even the food on their plates, these are actual, can't really tell with the camera, but these are actual pictures of food that are on the plate instead of just the cartoon typed um, drawings and then here he's wearing a sweater and you can tell I mean again you can almost just feel it just by looking at it so really great use of texture there And the cat's got a hat on and it's really textured and then they've got some more of the leaves over here and um, he's got his little stick and the ribbon on that is actually a photo of a ribbon as well so that one and then also I have the hair scare so there's a barber and he's got a very normal look to him the pages where he's just by himself are very plain they're very smooth. All of the illustrations on these pages are very simple. There's no, not a whole lot of texture, nothing real crazy going on. Um, and then he encounters this big king. And the king has very textured hair. It's like extremely fuzzy and spiky. Um, and it, it contrasts with everything else on the page which really adds to the character and the plot because the whole thing is this guy's like I have no idea how to cut this hair every time I cut it it comes out something crazy like a peacock and it it's just it's wild so um and then it goes to show some of the other um clients that he's had and they're all normal like him they're all painted really really smoothly there's no big um nothing real big about them their um their hair is just nice and how you'd expect and then they've got this king in here who's just really got some crazy hair and every page that his hair is on he it's it's really detailed it almost like you can see every little hair sticking out crazy. And eventually, his hair turns into a bird and he flies out of the window. So, 